Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Some quarters of the Azimio fraternities, Azimio supporters, are breathing fire that Raila Molodinga decided to suspend the Monday demonstrations. There is another school of thought that feels that it was a good thing to suspend these demonstrations to have some kind of dialogue. But I want to submit to you that William Samoy Ruto is not off the hook yet. Because I have seen some Kenya Kwanzaa supporters bragging that Raila Molodinga is a coward, that he chickened out. Because these are the people who are really afraid that, William, uh, that Raila Molodinga was going to lead his troop to State House. But if you listen carefully, to Raila Molodinga's statement, Raila suspended the demonstrations for one week. And there are certain conditions that he gave, which in the event that they shall not be met, then they will go back to the streets. Take a look. In our view, this committee must be composed with immediate, with immediate effect with the strict deadlines for resolving the crisis facing the country. Four, in accepting the call for the dialogue, we ask that all arrests and prosecutions related to our demonstrations be stopped with immediate effect. In view of the foregoing, we stand down our demonstrations for Monday that is tomorrow, April 3rd, 2023. Six. But in doing so, we want to emphasize that the right to assemble, to demonstrate, petition, and to speak are unclad as provided for in our constitution. Seven, therefore, we reserve our rights to call for demonstrations should this process not bear fruit. Should there be no meaningful engagement or response from Horn Ruto to our counter offer, we resolve to resume our demonstrations after one week. A quick recap of what Raila Mulodinga is talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is that the committee that is supposed to be formed in parliament and to be co-chaired by both Azimio and Kenya Kwanza must be formed with immediate effect. And Raila says that there are several pending cases of their team, members of their team, who were arrested on grounds of illegal demonstrations. Even though we got the freedom of picketing and trying in our constitution, Raila says that their cases must be terminated with immediate effect. And Raila warned that they reserve the right to call on their supporters to go back to the streets on Monday next week. If at all they realize that William Ruto is playing games. And this is why I'm saying that William Ruto has another opportunity to do what is right. Because he squandered the first opportunity and he almost plunged this nation into an irreversible political limbo. When William Ruto inherited this country after the August elections, no one went to the streets. After the Supreme Court and the IEBC had messed the country, Raila Mulodinga accepted. And very many of his supporters had decided that they were moving on. But this chest thumping angered Raila Muludinga and the Azimi fraternity. Even the supporters who had accepted and moved on wanted to show William Ruto that he is not the true winner of the August polls, that he scored this goal using his hand. The cost of living must come down because Raila Muludinga talked about it and some of the things that Raila Muludinga is saying is that we must go back to the subsidies that were initiated by the former president 
Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, subsidies on fuel, subsidies on electricity, subsidies on maize flour. I have uh, listened to argument from this government that those who are targeted to benefit from the subsidies did not receive them. And so the government has decided in their wisdom or lack of the same that they abandoned the subsidies. Someone was saying that if you realize that subsidies was a good thing, but the manner in which it was being distributed was wrong, and that it did not reach it did not reach the intended people. You don't abandon the subsidies. You only make sure that you have measures to ensure that it reaches the intended people. So Rayla Mulling is saying that on the cost of living, we must go back to the subsidies. We wait and see if that will be met. There is something that I did not get, and I don't know whether I'm the only one who was never keen. The elephant in the room opening of the servers because this is something that we really want to hear we really want to see we want to see who won the elections if it is Raila who is lying if it is Ruto who is winking Kenyans we really want to know on the issue of uh, electoral justice yes they are trying to make steps that they are going to have a committee in parliament that is going to be co-chaired I think they are going to select equal number of uh, parliamentarians and they will have uh, two chair persons that that must be done with the immediate effect. So William Samuel Ruto must ensure that everything that he said today must kick off by tomorrow because people are waiting with bated breath. If he hoodwinks people because they could be doing this just to reorganize their security. They could be doing this to try and see whether the Azimu supporters will get tired because William Ruto has got intelligence and maybe he understands that there are people who wanted to go to state house and make sure that they get their, their, their victory. But now that Raila calls, his, calls uh, this, this, this demonstration off, William Ruto understands so well that maybe this is going to slow people down so that when he decided not to obey his part of the bargain and Raila calls them back that they will not come. Let him not make any mistakes. Because if people go back the second time, it will be irreversible. And so the Kenya Kwanza team must ensure that they get good, they be good as their words. Already there is tension within the Kenya Kwanza team. There are those who feel that William Ruto betrayed them by engaging Raila Bolodinga, led by Rigedi Geshegwa, Kimani Chunga, the likes of Ndindi Nyoro, mostly the, the team that 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 ails from hails from the, 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 the Mount Kenya. They are so much scared about any talk that pertains to the people of Kenya. Because to them they are so much obsessed about politics of, of, of succession. They would rather see people die of hunger because they feel the people should not talk. But William Ruto seems to have known, and this is why he sidelined most of them. There's a picture, a, a picture that is going on, a photo that is going on, of William Ruto and Raila Molodinga in what is believed to be a meeting where this uh, press conference was hatched, where they agreed to call off the demonstrations. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this. William Ruto is not off the, off the hook yet. He's not. Because what happened was just a suspension pending to see whether William Ruto is serious. And I know Raila Molodinga wants to test because there was a lot of pressure from the international community, from the clergy, from the businessmen. There are people who are crying out from even teachers that, you know, children cannot go to school, we can't open our businesses. So Raila has decided that I want to give Ruto this chance. If William Ruto makes a mistake and squanders this opportunity, people are going to go back to the streets. And this time around it is going to be worse because Raila we shall have known that you are playing games with me, you are joking around with me. William Ruto must prove that he is a leader because during such moments we don't need a politician we need a leader and when he allows people to go back to the streets it will be worse than what he has seen 
Rigidi Geshogwa must open his eyes because it seemed that he was caught off guard because of his hardline stand. He must accept that this country does not only belong to him and his quarters because when it comes to business, Rigedi Gashoga believes that it is only his people who do business. He must understand that Kenya is so big and Kenya belongs to all of us. He should be part of this process because the way I see him, he won't even get closer to the talks. Just the same way the former president Uru Kenyatta sidelined the, 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 the then deputy president William Samerutu because of his hardline stand. So, Raila Mulodinga must be clever enough to see whether this government is serious. But one thing that we must must be, uh, but one thing that must be explained to us is what will happen to the server. Because if there is one thing that is an elephant in the room and we want to understand what happened, it is the server. Will it be opened or not? Because this is one question that we want to ask until we get an answer. I don't know what you think, but that is my take.